people, my name is David Akonde, and Mobile Lovers calls me Kito, K-I-T-O. My educational background, I attended Ajoke Modern Nazarum Primary School in Lauren Kwara State, then to Baptist Model High School in Lauren Kwara State, and then University of Lauren, the Better by Far University, where I studied English and I majored in literature. So after my National Youth Service Corp in Abia State, I proceeded to Pepti Film Institute where I studied, I did a professional course in acting and presentation. So that is that about my educational background and um, my family background. I am the third child of four children and I am the first male. I grew up in the Lauren Choir State. That is just it. Acting for me came along the way. I grew up as a child, you know, at a point you would feel like, oh, peer pressure, I want to be this, I want to be that, I want to... At first, when I was in primary school, I, was, I thought I would be a businessman. So, but with the discovery of purpose and vision, I think when I was in GS3, I discovered the fact that I could act. I had acted before. That was when I was in primary school, but it wasn't serious. It was, it was just... A casual thing we went to a church and we did something but when i discovered my purpose in life when i discovered that this is the direction i want to go into i want to be a media person i want to be in front of the camera i want to i want people to connect with me looking at the camera and things like so i discovered the fact that i could act and i started developing it even right from secondary school i would go join the drama group i was part of the press club as well doing a lot of things like that so as a child, I was the kind of mommy and daddy's boy. So my parents loved me so much. My mom, she's late now, but she was a disciplinarian. But in as much as my mom was a disciplinarian, I, I could say that I, I am this child that everyone loves around. Like my mom loved me so much. My dad as well. Or well, you know, my mom, like I'm the first male. So I'm always around my mom doing this, doing that. And my mom really taught me a lot. My mom actually has like a lot of impact in my life. I didn't experience bully. No, as a person, personally, I did not. But looking, I saw people being bullied in school, on the streets. But personally, I did not. A personal skill that has actually helped my acting career is my ability to face a lot of people and not be shy. That is one gift that I have. If you, if you place me in front of 10,000 people, I would speak. Yes, I am not shy to talk to people because I also present and I do MC jobs. So I'm not shy. Like I look into people's eyes and I express myself. A major challenge that I've experienced in my career at first is the discipline the discipline part of um, the movie industry it is a profession where you have to be highly disciplined like you have to be highly 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 disciplined and the fact that this is a career that brings a lot of pressure on you and the ability for me to work under pressure and to be able to not give in to some kind of things that i'm not supposed to do even in my growth process the discipline of being an actor is really really out of this world passing on a legacy is very very paramount and very important because a successful person is not successful because he is successful a successful person is successful because other people became a success through his own success story so i want other people to be successful through my story and for my offspring i would live a good life that they can enjoy from and they can learn from but for acting i would not say i would tell any of my kids to become actors except they really want to do it okay. talking about achievements my greatest achievements and what i see as my greatest achievement i don't think i have gotten that yet and in as much as i have done a bit of it Number one is getting to the screen. I dreamt about it and I achieved it. I am on the screen and people get to see me. And number two is to impact life positively with what I do. My job is a job that when you do, people get to love you, people get to relate with you. So I want to use that privilege to impact life positively. I have started doing that and I think I'll do that for the rest of my life. So there can't be a limit to that. Automatically, 
being on the screen comes with pressure. The pressure to meet up with the standard in which people have placed for you in the society. Like at some point, people believe, for example, now, you put people, some people will see on the screen today and the next day they believe that you should have a Range Rover, a G-Wagon or a Rolls Royce. Like, guy, this thing is step by step. It happens so, so even if you're now driving just a normal car or you're still even using your Uber and everything, they will still believe, ah, that guy is an actor now. We are seeing him on stage. He doesn't have money. He doesn't have, it comes with a lot of pressure and then people get to like, try to push themselves even beyond where they are. And I think it is just step by step. Like it is, it, it's a gradual process and everybody will get there someday. So far you're diligent with what you do. Don't be pressured. Yes, I have a couple of actors that I look forward to, that I look up to as role models. In Nigeria, I love Osi KJ and Gabriel Afolayan. Gabriel Afolayan is an amazing actor. So as Osi, so is OC as well, man, Gabriel, like, I just, like, I go on Netflix, I type Gabriel, I want to see his movies, and I've been opportune to act with him, like, two or three times, I guess, yeah, two or three times, so, meeting him, looking at him, the way he acts, he, you see the character in Gabriel, Gabriel is more like a method actor, you see the character, so is OC, and then outside the country, I'll pick a Will Smith, Denzel Washington, and my best actor of all time, Leonardo DiCaprio. As a known and public figure, what I have done to help people in my own way is um, I encourage a lot of people. I have a lot of people that are looking up to me as well. So I encourage them and I do not relent because I know a lot of people are attached to me. And one thing I do is when I have productions, like the last production I just did, Alaysha, I brought in two actors who made their debut on that set. So, and they didn't play just a minor. It was... An important like an integral role in the movie i made them understand that if people do not give you opportunity then you would never start so i was given an opportunity that is why i am where i am today i was given an opportunity that is where i am where i am today so i decided to give them opportunity make them believe that they can do it and they can get to the top blessed because i am a definition I am a reflection of God's blessing. My talent is God's blessing. My, the love that people have for me is God's blessing. And I am nobody without God. So without his blessing, I am nobody. It's an amazing thing to do. If two celebrities get married, so far they can manage it very well. And so far they have proper communication. I think it's good. Never give up. That's one thing I tell people that have not gotten an opportunity, but they really want to act. Never give up. And this is an age where social media is really helping a lot of people. So put yourself out there. Use your social media platform, Instagram, Facebook, Twitter. Just put yourself out there and let people see what you can do. I'm evolving with producing right now. I started my production outfit recently and my first production as with my own production outfits, David Akonde Studios is Alaysha and I have a couple of productions coming soon as well. And apart from being an actor, I do MC, but majorly I'm diving into producing now. Producing, and because producing helps you tell your own kind of story, your own, like, it makes you tell people the way you see the world. And I write as well. I draw my inspiration from music and the environment. And I read a lot. All right, guys. So thank you for having me on today's program. And thank you to the AIG Media Pro crew. I'm so happy to be here. And to my fans at home watching, I want to say thank you very much for loving me. Thank you very much for supporting my brand. Keep watching. Alisha, the movie is coming by David Akonde Studio, Dynamic Empire, and Idriso Entertainment. You guys should watch out. It's going to be an amazing content. Thank you very much. See ya. Bye.